hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time we're gonna be doing a feel on this set so of course the first thing that i'm doing is just going in with a pair of nippers to remove the bling we're gonna do that on all of the nails and then of course after this we're gonna go in to remove the gel polish and then she does have glitter on her ring fingers so we're gonna file that away as well um but again this is just a pair of nippers removing the bling you guys know that i use the soleil nail adhesive and as you can see they stay on really really good i even was having a hard time trying to take them off Alrighty, so now we're gonna go in with the safety extra course drill bed which i get on amazon and i'll be sure to leave all of the links down below for you guys but we're just going in and removing the glitter that's inside of this nail and then of course the gel polish on the rest of the nails so you want to make sure that when you're doing this again you're using the safety drill bed you don't want to use one that's not a safety one because you don't want to cut your client especially since it's so coarse um but again i think this one is like seven or eight dollars on amazon and it works really good for me so i do highly recommend it but just removing all of the gel polish from the nails going around the cuticle area first and then filing towards the tip of the nail um, until you remove all of the gel polish and just like any other time whenever you are using your drill make sure that you keep your drill moving at all times you don't want to let it sit in one spot for too long because it will cause friction and it will cause your nail to burn so make sure that again you keep it moving at all times so we're going to go ahead and finish removing the gel polish from both hands and then we'll move on to the next hand Alrighty, so now we're going to go in and push the cuticles back. So as always, you want to make sure that you don't ever skip this step because this is going to expose the new growth and help with reducing lifting. So make sure that you go in there and push those cuticles back. 
After this, we're going to go in with a 180 sanding band to remove the shine from the natural nail. Remember, you always want to use a new sanding band on each client. So usually I keep the old one on there and then whenever my new client comes, I go ahead and switch it out. And you want to do that after each client. So we're going to go in and of course, just removing the shine from around the cuticle area, making sure that we get as close as uh, we can to the cuticle area so we don't get any lifting. Um, because if not, if you leave any little shiny spots on the nail, your nail will lift. So again, this is a 180 sanding band and I am using my drill at 5,000 RPMs. Earlier when I was removing the gel polish, I was using it between 10,000 and 15,000 RPMs. But remember, whatever makes you feel more comfortable is completely, completely fine. So now we're just going ahead and dusting the nails off and then I'm going in with the primer and I'm just using JC Beauty Concepts, the hydrator and primer. So I'm just applying that on the natural nail. I'm going in now with the JC Beauty Concepts Clear Acrylic and I'm using my alpha brush in a number 10. Remember that whenever you are applying the acrylic, you want to make sure that you are building your apex and your thickness at the tip. So no matter if you do the three ball method, four ball method, two ball method, one ball method, whatever method you're using, you always want to make sure that you're looking to build your apex and your thickness at the tip. Your nails should not bend at the tip. They should not break off really easily. And that's why, as you can see, I always look at the nail from the side to make sure that they're thick enough. For the rest of the nails, I'm gonna be using the same acrylic. Again, this is the JC Beauty Concepts. And for the ring finger, I had to use a little bit more acrylic because of course we did follow all of the glitter that was enca encapsulated into the nail. So I had to go in and make sure that I built my apex back up and the thickness at the tip. But for the rest, we're just doing a regular fill-in. So as you can see, I placed that bead closer to the cuticle area patting it down and then if you need to add more that is completely fine as you can see i placed another bead closer to the tip and then that was pretty much it but for the most part just doing the bead around the cuticle area gently patting it down don't like don't pat too hard because you don't want the acrylic to go everywhere and then if you need to go around the cuticle area and remove any of that product that's on the skin and of course make sure that as you're doing this you wipe your brush off a lot that way you don't you know get product that builds up in your brush because then it's going to be hard for you to clean it out while you're working so we're going to continue to do the rest on the other hands but again mainly just doing that one bead closer to the cuticle area and blending it in towards the tip wiping the sides and wiping the cuticle area
Alrighty, so after we finish applying the acrylic, I'm going in with my 100-100 nail file and just shaping up the nails. Um, as always, making sure that you hold your file at a 90 degree angle to make sure that you get that perfect coffin shape. So going in from the sidewall, going right towards the free edge and same thing on both sides. And the free edge, as you can see, I hold my file at a vertical angle. I feel like I'm able to get it much um you know even like that so whatever works for you is completely fine but remember you want to make sure that you pay attention to the way that you're holding your file because if not you're not going to get that perfect shape and of course it does take some practice to achieve you know a nice shape but just remember to be patient practice and be dedicated afterwards i look at all of the nails to make sure that they're all that perfect coffin shape and then i'll move on to the other hand Alrighty, so after I finish reshaping the nails, I'm going in with the fine drill bed, which is a ceramic one, and I get this one on Amazon as well. And as always, just going around the cuticle area first, going from the right side all the way over to the left side, going back and forth, back and forth until you're able to see where the cuticle is, where the natural nail is, and where the acrylic is. That way you know that the acrylic is not on the skin. And then, of course, removing the um, any bumps and lumps that you may have on the rest of the nail. Usually, my nails are pretty nice and smooth, so I don't have to do as much falling on the rest of the nail, but I still go in and file it just so, you know, just to make sure that it's all nice and even. But remember that, y'all, like, literally 90 99% of your lifting will come from not falling around this cuticle area really good even if it looks nice and neat you still want to go in there and file because if you leave any little gap in between where the acrylic and the natural nail is you are going to get lifting because water most any type of moisture lotion your face oils whatever you use is going to get trapped underneath the nail and it's going to cause the nail to lift up so make sure that you seal the cuticle area really really good again this is a ceramic drill bed and i really i really like it because especially for beginners it's not too sharp um but even with me i've been doing nails for a while and i still really like this one because some of my clients do have really sensitive you know cuticle area cuticle areas yeah so i don't want to you know hurt them at all but i still want to make sure that i seal that area really good so this one works perfectly for me um and this one is about seven or eight dollars on amazon but again all of the links will be left down below and if i'm missing any link just let me know down in the comments and i'll be sure to go back and post it for you guys but i'm gonna go ahead and let you finish watching and then after this we'll move on to the next step
Alrighty, so now we're going in with the buffer and this is going to get rid of any of the scratches left on the nails from the hand file or the e-file. So make sure that you buff those nails really, really good because you don't want to see any scratches through your polish. So after this, we're going to go ahead and just dust the nails off. You can have your client go wash their hands or you can wipe them off with an alcohol wipe, whatever works for you best. Alrighty, so for this set, we're going to be using the gel polishes from Madam Glam. You guys know that they are my all-time favorite gel polishes. They just go on so good, and I just absolutely, absolutely love them. Um, as always, I am going to be going live on Madam Glam's Instagram channel. This time, it'll be on July the 5th at 12 Eastern Time. So be sure to check me out on there because I always do a giveaway. If you guys didn't know, I go live with them every first Sunday of the month, and I usually post about it on my picture but again i always give away whatever collection i'm reviewing i give it away at the end of the live you just have to say throughout the entire live and i usually ask a question and then i just randomly select the winner um, but these all of these polishes that i'm going to be using are by madam glam you as you can see like just with one coat we get a really good coverage which is what i absolutely love about them Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and do the second coat on both hands and then of course we're curing each coat for 30 seconds.
Alrighty, so now we're gonna go in and apply the McCart foil glue, which this one does have to be cured. So after I apply it, I'm gonna go in and let this finger cure for 60 seconds. I'm gonna apply it on the other hand as well, but I'm doing it on the index finger this time. And then same thing, letting it cure for one minute. And then after that, we're gonna go in and apply some foil. Alrighty, so I'm gonna apply this transfer foil, which is just uh, flowers. So once the gel or the foil glue is cured, you just place the foil right on top of the nail, kind of rub it with your fingertip, and that's pretty much it. As you can see, it just goes on so well. Now I'm gonna go in and apply some bling. So I'm using my Soleil nail adhesive. For this one, we're just gonna do the bling scattered around the nail. Again, that was the Soleil nail adhesive, and you can find her page on Instagram. Instagram is just Soleil, I believe. Well, that's her name, is Soleil. Um, but she has her website on her Instagram. Um, and then for the rest of the nails, we're just gonna apply bling. This, uh, the ones I'm using are my ABSS6. Unfortunately, um, right now I have not been able to restock my website because everything, honestly, right now is a lot more expensive, and I don't want to have to go up on my prices, you know, on stuff on my website just because I know how you guys will feel about that. But I'm waiting on prices to go down just a little bit because even the shipping um you know for me to buy my items right now is super super high like if i was to order like even just my nail tips it would be i think they told me it's like a thousand dollars just for the shipping because i get so many nail tips so i'm just kind of waiting on everything to just you know like calm down a little bit and then i'll be restocking my website i know it's taking me a lot longer than usual but you know, with everything that's going on, I just want to play it safe. But anyways, again, we're just applying the bling with the a, uh, the ABSS6 and the ABSS12. I'm using my wax pencil and the Soleil nail adhesive. After that, I'm going to spray the nails with the Hurry Up Spray, which is a spray that helps the glue dry a lot faster. Um, and then we're just going in with the Madame Glam Gel Top Coat, and we're going to apply this on all of the nails. And then we're going to cure this hand for 60 seconds, and we're going to do the same thing on the other hand.
Alrighty, so just applying a little bit of cuticle oil and here is the final look as you can see they turned out really pretty i love those flowers and those colors just look so good together and as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram and twitter at getnail32 and i'll see you guys next time